friends. The story I have today is called Max's Chocolate Chicken. Max is a rabbit. Ooh, it's like a fairy god rabbit right there. Maybe. Rosemary Wells, Max's Chocolate Chicken. One morning, somebody put a chocolate chicken in the bird bath. I love you, said Max. I love chocolate too. Do you? Wait, Max, said Max's sister Ruby. First, we go on an egg hunt. If you find the most eggs, then you get the chocolate chicken. And if I find the most eggs, then I get the chocolate chicken, said Ruby. Max went looking for eggs, but all he found was a mud puddle. Ruby found a big yellow egg. Max didn't find any. No eggs, no chicken, Max, said Ruby. Max went looking again, but all he found were acorns. Ruby found a blue egg. Max, said Ruby, pull yourself together. Otherwise, you'll never get the chocolate chicken. How many eggs has Ruby found so far? How many has Max found? So Max went looking with Ruby. Ruby found a red egg with green stars. Max found a spoon. Ruby found a gold egg with purple stripes and a turquoise egg with silver swirls and a lavender egg with orange polka dots. Max found some ants. Poor Max. Then he made an ant and acorn pancake. Max, said Ruby, You'd have trouble finding your own ears if they weren't attached to your head. Ruby counted her eggs. I'm the one who's going to get the chocolate chicken, Max, said Ruby. She does have the most eggs, doesn't she? But Max ran away. And he hid. What do you think he's going to do with that chocolate chicken? The bird bath was empty. Where are you, Max? Ruby called. Max ate the chicken's tail. I see you, Max, said Ruby, but she didn't. Max ate the chicken's head. I'll give you half of the chocolate chicken, Max, yelled Ruby. Max ate the wings. Then he popped out of his hiding place. Max, how could you do this to me? I love you, said Max. How did that, that chocolate chicken get there in the bird bath again? Take a look at who's leading. That was such a good story. And friends, do you know what? you are going to get to make a Max or a Ruby rabbit with Miss Perry. 
and it will turn out really cute. So I'm really excited for you to do that with her. Okay, before I go, here's my question of the day. I always like to ask you a question. And my question today is, would you rather be a pet bunny or a wild bunny? So think about it. If you're a pet bunny, someone's going to take care of you and feed you and pet you. You'll probably live in a cage, probably get to get out sometimes. If you're a wild bunny, you'll find food on your own. Uh, you will uh, get to live anywhere you want, probably have to live in a burrow, make a burrow somewhere. So what would you rather be, a pet bunny or a wild bunny? I can't wait to see your responses or for you to share them with me. Take care.